Hey yo, I'm the MMA loser and I'm here to talk about UFC 293 and before I start the video please watch this video at 1.5 times the speed or at least or, or maybe two times the speed who knows it'll save some of your time and you'll probably enjoy it better but yeah I'm back with another video and today I want to talk about UFC 293 and what's what's wrong with UFC 293 uh, let's just look at here uh, this is UFC 293 the entire card of UFC 293 the main event is not decided and let's be honest Jamie Malarkey versus John Medeski Mike John McAdesi for the co-main event in a card like this does not make any sense I mean no disrespect to these fighters JB Malarkey, Kai Kara France, Carlos, Carlos Ulberg, Alberg. I've never seen Carlos Alberg win. I think he is on a losing streak. The most famous people from this card are is is the only fighter that we know is Kai Kara France and Tyson Pedro and Justin Taffa. I don't know Justin Taffa versus Austin Lane. It took place uh, recently. I think uh, Taffa got eye poked and that fight was cancelled. It was ruled a no contest. So after that. There's this fight between Tyson uh, Tyson Pedro is fighting Anton Tarkales. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it kind of makes no sense, right? At this point of time, for a big pay per view, and it's going to take place in uh, September 10th, and today is August 4th. So on 4th of August, they have still not told us who's uh, what the main event for this fight is going to uh, for this fight card is going to be. I know that Izzy and Sean are uh, supposed to fight, but still there has been no uh, official confirmation regarding that. In the at least in the UFC website, they have not mentioned who's going to fight whom. Izzy is supposed to fight. If they're organizing a card in Australia, then their best bet is to put Izzy Volkanovski, Izzy or Volkanovski on the fight card. Now Volkanovski fought recently against. Uh, Yaya Rodriguez, he won that fight and now he's out for surgery. Probably he will fight late last year or maybe early next year. So Volkanovski is out of this equation. So what? who else do we have left here? Uh, Whitaker cannot fight. Whitaker just got finished by uh, Duplessis. I think the UFC were planning to put uh, Adesanya versus Duplessis. But then, in my opinion, that did not make any sense because Duplessis was going to need more time. I think Duplessis versus Adesanya will be a good fight. I'm not complaining. But come on, three months to prepare for Adesanya is too less for anybody. You need at least, what, six months or at least five months? You need a, at least a five to six months camp to fight against someone like Adesanya. And I think the same goes for Adesanya. You can say whatever you want, but for someone like Duplessis, he needs to adjust his game as well. Or maybe he is already adjusted. I don't know. But you will need more time to prepare for someone like that. Now... There have been a few unofficial reports which say that Sean Strickland is going to fight against uh, Israel Adesanya. Will that be a good fight? I don't know. Uh, I think Adesanya will, will dominate Strickland because Adesanya is a better striker than Strickland. Strickland is predominantly a boxer. He does not throw that many kicks. And he depends on his volume. He depends on his pressure. But I think I don't think his volume is going to work against someone like Adesanya. Adesanya is going to pick him apart from the outside. Maybe if uh, Strickland can manage to put Adesanya on the ground and he can somehow do something, some damage on the ground, which is very unlikely for Sean Strickland because we have not seen him take down anybody in his entire UFC career. I don't know if he has ever taken anybody down. Maybe he did. I just don't know. I'm a casual fan. Call me casual. I don't mind. But... Overall, I just don't know. I mean, what's the problem is with uh, UFC 293? Because, let's be very honest. We are not paying. Nobody is paying money to see these guys fight. No disrespect to them. But I have not, I don't know if Jamie Malarkey has won. I don't even know who John McAdesi is. I don't know if Mendel Cape has won. In, like, I, I've never seen this guy win. Kai Kara France is 5. So, and I don't know who Dawun Jung is. Carlos Alberg, again, I have not seen him fight in a long time. I don't know what this UFC record is right now. Yeah, his UFC record is 6, 1, uh, and 5. Potera. 
Yeah, he's on a win streak. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. He's been on a win streak. I did not know about that. But then again, still, he's not exactly the superstar that we want to watch uh, in a main card. I mean, again, good fighters. I'm not saying they're bad fighters. If they're in the UFC, they're good fighters. But I don't know them. If someone like me does not know them, then I'm fairly certain. Yeah, Malarkey lost his last fight against Naimov. Then he won against Prado. He won against Johnson. I mean, defeating Michael Johnson must count to something because Michael Johnson defeated Tony Ferguson and uh, Dustin Poirier. So, yeah, that must be something. But again, that, all jokes aside, he is also not somebody that you uh, really want to watch in the main event or a co-main event fight. Uh, Tyson Pedro, Tyson Pedro, I don't know what his record is right now, but he was doing well. Yeah, he's... His record is also not really that great, in my opinion. He lost his last fight against Bokaskas. So, yes, like most of these fighters have lost their previous fights. Justin Tafa, again, uh, in his least, uh, recent fight, he, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he got eye poked by Austin Lane, like I said before. So, this fight card at, at this point of time. It's not making much of a sense for me. It's not making much of a sense for me with these fighters in there because it's just don't know because it's Australia and two of the biggest stars from that entire Oceania turf that is Arasenia and Volkanovski and Whitaker. Whitaker is out there, of course. Uh, Della Medellina cannot fight because he fought recently and in that fight he definitely got hurt against Basil Hafez. Uh, Whitaker is out because he got finished. I don't think he's going to make a quick comeback in a month. Then there was Volkanovski is out due to the surgery. So you have got only one big star, that is Adesanya. And who will he fight? Because his fight against Sean Strickland is not exactly that exciting. Because I just don't see Sean Strickland doing any kind of damage to Adesanya. Whereas Adesanya will play it defensively and probably win the fight by unanimous decision. He'll have a cruise victory. He'll have a really easy victory against Strickland just by kicking him from the outside and point fighting him, basically. So, the entire UFC 293 card, I don't know it, it, I don't know who's going to fight whom. It makes no sense. This is very rare from the UFC that there is a big, big main event. Like, there is a big fight card and they have not announced the main event till now. So, I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comment section who you think is going to be the main event of UFC 293. Because in the official website, like I say, like I'll show you once again, uh, in the official website, the main event is still not decided. They've only uh, they've only listed these fights: Jamie Malarkey versus John McAdams and Kakar versus all these fights, but they have not listed the main uh, the main event, which is supposed to be Easy versus somebody. Now, who's that somebody? We don't know. Hopefully, we'll soon get to know who Izzy is going to fight. Because if it's not for Izzy, then they, they, they'll have to cancel that entire fight card. Because I don't think people are going to accept Kaikara France in a pay-per-view against Manel Cape or Jamie Mularki against some John McAdessey. We I don't know. So you guys can write me in the comment section what will be the final uh, what will be the final announcement regarding UFC 293. Who's going to fight whom? And Will Sean Strickland be the person who will be fighting against uh, Israel Adesanya? That fight, I think Adesanya might win <clears throat> easily. But the press conference, I think uh, Strickland will win that. Because Strickland is crazy. He'll, he'll say whatever comes to his mind. And he'll say it in such a way that... And he's American, so he'll just say whatever he comes to. I like Strickland. Yeah, he's, he's funny. He's funny. He's a, he's a decent fighter. He's a good fighter. And he's funny. Whatever. Overall, I think Izzy is going to defeat him. I, I don't even know what's going to happen in UFC 293. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, don't drop a like. And please subscribe to my channel. I have very few subscribers. And yes, share this video. Peace out.